So in today's video, we're going to take a look at block or square. I still think square is fine and a good name. Uh, so we're going to look at it. it's been heading lower and there's a lot of news and discussion regarding this. If you look at the current market lineup, we've got square or block. Uh, down uh, to about $49 or uh, 2.91%. 2 and then, you know, overall the market is weak. So even Apple's down, Amazon, Shopify, and PayPal. These are some of these big uh, companies that are also down. Um, but uh, when you look at it, uh, Square has taken quite a big hit percentage-wise, uh, Shopify as well, and Amazon as well. But uh, some of the other ones are taking less of a hit compared to those. So uh, one of the big uh, reasons you could say for this is um, you've got the CEO de departing. So um, Jack here, uh, Dorsey will step in. Uh, but yeah, you've got um, here the CEO leaving the company. So you could say, hey, you know, now I'm worried about the company. Not to mention the down market um, doesn't really help when you've got the down move um, on the company overall. I would assume they probably knew something was happening or internally something was happening uh, around here. I would assume they were dumping some shares uh, overall. Uh, so in either case, the stock is crashing quite a bit. Um, I wouldn't say it's full out crash, but here's the bit of an issue that we've got going on with this stock. So from uh, 2019, the stock has had some significant support around the $50 level. Um, and you can see that right there. We've been holding, holding, holding. Um, and even in the past, this was used as a little bit of a breakout opportunity right there and uh, create a nice big run to the upside. But now we are breaking to that uh, downside, unfortunately. So when we're going to this downside, if we break through this, uh, this stock could go quite a bit lower. Now we do have some support here at uh, this lower wick in 2020, uh, but I think it's kind of minor. So the question now is, is where can we stop? Can it go down to about $15? It's quite possible uh, if they, uh, you know, if shorts pile in and there's more negative things that come out of it on why she's uh, departing and then there's other things that start cycling out of control uh, that could create some um, issues inside of this stock specific. But also if the market is just weak, we could get into those uh, levels of around 15. I don't know if we'll get that low. That would push it um, quite a bit lower uh, into the company. I think the company is uh, pretty good, uh, relatively speaking, for um for, for the for the books and so on but um but it, it obviously can get into the 20s or the 30s without a problem because uh, you can have short sellers piling in and that could be a problem so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and kind of uh, watch the trend and uh, watch the uh, price action so you're kind of looking for something like this uh, sideways action and then possibly a reversal um, so if we continue to move a bit lower 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 and then we move sideways and then we uh, push higher. That's what I'm looking for uh, because uh, you're, you're looking for a push into those levels. Uh, the other thing to watch is kind of watch that volume uh, right here. You've got volume, volume that's on the sell side. What you'll want is to see this bullish volume that's coming in on the bullish side start to pick back up. Um, and once that starts picking back up, that could be a, a good sign. It's kind of like uh, similar over here. This, there's a lot of weak volume, and then you see this uh, bigger amount of volume there that's a block that's coming in. Ha, block that's coming in. So a block of volume there that's pushing, and that's often a good sign. Unfortunately, then we dried up very quickly, and then the sell side volume came in. So that's sometimes uh, certain things to watch for. I will also say that certain trades that are difficult to take, like this one is getting into that um, sold, quite a bit sold uh, area. Uh, I mean, we were way up here. Now we're kind of way down here. Uh, when things are getting into, let's say, these levels and it's difficult to take the trade, that actually might be uh, the time where uh, it could be a golden opportunity to start taking those trades because they're difficult. And the difficult trades to take are the ones that, um, that that make you not feel good, but they are often the ones that uh, result in uh, quite a bit of uh, pop or success and uh, tend to work out actually pretty well. But at the beginning, you kind of feel a little worried taking them. So anyways, that's just my take on it. I think we will head a little bit lower, maybe to eh, about a $40 level uh, could, be, could be pretty good. And uh, we had some um, uh, resistance right here at 90. We're starting to break this support at 50. If we don't come right back pretty quickly uh this trend could continue lower and follow through and then uh, more shorts will pile in and then you might see it coming coming into uh even this 36 35 36 level and that's maybe a nice baseline for the stock 
to where it could continue its trend back to the upside. So anyways, I hope that helps. It gives you some insight into uh, the company and uh, just uh, the take on charts. Uh, check out tradingwebinars.co. There's a lot of great webinars on there uh, that I have for free, many little uh, courses, PDF, freebies, cheat sheets, and much more. Truly appreciate you sticking with me, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.